went to my first play at nine or ten in Winnipeg and was Cinderella with Gordon Pinsent as Prince Charming, so that was a good start. I know I went to University of Winnipeg, got my BA, and went to Western in London and got my Master's in Library Science. Well, I wrote my master's thesis in library science on performing arts libraries and then never worked in one because the librarians in those libraries liked their jobs so much that there was never room for me. So my brother was coming to Waterloo to go to school, so we came here. I got a contract at a public library here, and I've been here ever since. Worked in a lot of different libraries. In the last 25, I was at the law firm McCarthy Tatra, which was great. So I've had a varied career. At a first contract job, the librarian with whom I was working told me, you don't go here in Toronto, it's unsafe. You don't go there in Toronto, it's unsafe. So I was afraid to go anywhere. Um, when I was th working at, um, at the Metro Reference Library, which I did for a bit, um, one of my colleagues was going to Stratford and, with her husband and they invited me along. So that was my first exposure to Stratford. And it was at Stratford where I started to um, you know, see shows and meet people, and, and then I wanted to see them in Toronto, and that's how I sort of started to go. So that's why I have so many matinee subscriptions, because I was, felt safe to go to a matinee. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And then there were so many people whose work I wanted to see that they didn't fit into matinees. Theatre is... Everybody's experience is somewhat different. You know, what you're bringing, what I'm bringing, create a different whole experience to what the next person sitting next to me is bringing. Audiences, well, we need to listen actively and give back energy. That's a, that's a, Those are our two prime responsibilities. And it is a skill. I also think an audience needs to have, you, you need to expect an audience to have what I call two eyes, intelligence and imagination. Give us an opportunity to think and develop our critical and analytical thinking skills. But I think moments when I realize certain things about me, about the world. Um, I mean, the example that I guess I give that made me realize life was worth living was when I was going through a really rough time and went to see Romeo and Juliet in Stratford with uh, Shauna McKenna and Colin Fiore and realized that I would have liked the characters to live and I realized I wanted to and I wanted to figure out what my purpose was in life and well, I'm still trying to figure that out. But, but those kinds of moments of clarity when you realize that, that there's something to life that is worth finding out about or pursuing or trying to understand and that we're here for a purpose and some higher power decided what that was, so who am I to say that I'm not a worthwhile person, you know? Maybe I'm not, but I didn't choose to be here. Therefore, I have to trust that whatever higher power there is had a purpose in mind for me. And theater helps to kind of put that into perspective. You know, I've had moments when I've just felt, I don't know how to describe it, unworthy. And the fact that all, you know, so many of you have accepted me makes me feel good, makes me feel worthy. And I, I love the fact that I get to know you on that level. You know, well, I'm very grateful and very lucky to see as much as I see, and um, I'm hoping for experience that will make me a better person. That I will learn something, or even confirm something. Um, I want the opportunity to grow and develop, and I'm not asking for much, am I?